हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज आदर्श कुमार एंड आई एम अ स्टूडेंट ऑफ शर्मा कंप्यूटर एकेडमी भोपाल विच इज वन ऑफ द फाइनेस्ट इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ भोपाल इन मध्य प्रदेश विच हैज ट्रेंड ओवर टू लैख प्लस स्टूडेंट्स एंड स्टिल काउंटिंग इन ओवर ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस टेक्नोलॉजीज लाइक सी सी प्लस प्लस जावा पाइथन एंड मेनी मोर टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट माई जावा प्रोजेक्ट विच आई मेड अंडर दी गाइडेंस ऑफ सचिन कपूर सर हु इज दी सेंटर हेड एंड सीनियर ट्रेनर एट शर्मा कंप्यूटर अकेडमी भोपाल एंड होल्ड एंड एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ मोर देन ट्वेंटी प्लस ईयर्स सचिन सर एज टॉट मोर देन टू लैख स्टूडेंट्स एंड दी काउंटिंग इज स्टिल गोइंग ऑन सो नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट दी डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन So here it is this plus screen, and after that we entered in our login screen. So here I am going to log in as an admin, and if we do not click in any of the chat box, then it will give a error that please select a user type. So I want to log in as an admin, so I click on admin and then press on login. So it shows that that it is successfully connected to the database. After login as an admin, we come to our administrative panel, and here we have four options that set a paper, edit paper, register a student, and view score. So let's see all one by one. So first set a paper. So click on set a paper and then press the do task button. In this panel we have to choose the language in which we want to set the paper. For example I am choosing python and here you have to choose the number of question. For example I am choosing 3 and then click on set the question. So it will ask a confirmation that you have selected python language and total number of question 3. Is this okay? And if we click on yes then we will go to paper setting panel and if we click on no then it will cancel the operation. So here we have to add some questions for our examination. So I am writing some questions. So here we set all the questions and as our total number of question is get completed then it will disable my next button so we cannot add more number of questions but till now our exam is not getted into our database so here we can check by writing select a star from exams and you can see that that i have only four test that 1 2 3 and no any exam of python language is added and when we click on done then it will ask for the confirmation and if we click on yes then we, it will add exam to our database successfully so here now if i am checking my exam so here we can see that that python is added to our exam after that edit a paper suppose we have provide any wrong information or we have done a mistake in our question paper so we can edit it so here we have to choose the subject and when we click on this list this list first fetches all the different languages of exam that is present in our database and then it will add all these languages into this list and when we select a language here it will fetches all the exam id that this language has in the database so here we have three exams of c language so it will show all the three ids and suppose we want to edit the questions of exam 2 then click on exam 2 and then click on edit the question then it will ask for confirmation and it will open the editing paper panel so here it is our first question so our previous button is disabled but when we click on next then our previous button is enabled so previously i have provided wrong answer to my question and here i am correcting it and then click on next so we reach to our last question of this exam and if i am clicking on next then it will say that question set and press done button to save into the database so i am clicking done button so again it will ask for confirmation then click on yes so it will say that questions updated successfully and now if i am going to my database and here type a query so here we can see that that first answer of this question is scanf but we have just updated this from scanf to getus after that admin can register a student and in user id type the name of the student password here i am using ram and reconfirm your password and then click on register and it's done so click on okay and click on back and now go to our database and type a query so here user ram is added after that admin can view the results of the students so click on view score and click on do task and if we want to see the results of each single student then we have to click on this and then click on do task so here hari is given the exam of c language and he got 66% and in this list all the students are fetched from our database whose user type is a student and here we have to choose the exam id and uh, here hari has given only one exam so it is showing ex2 only and now if we want to see the result of all the students then we have to go to view all scores and then click on do task so it will show all the students so only hari is given the exam so it will showing the one list only we can also confirm it from our database type a query so here only one table is coming now we come to 
a student panel and for that we have to log out and now I am logging in as a student for example Hari and if we provide wrong password here and want to log in as a student then it will show that invalid user id and password so we have to give the right password now I am giving the right password and click on login so our login is accepted and now a student can take a test view scores and, and change its password so for example I want to take the test then click on take test then click on do and here you have to choose the language for example python and here it will show the exam of lists which are available so here only one exam is available whose exam id is exe5 so it selects automatically ex5 then click on take the test after that it asks for our confirmation and if we click on yes then it will open our test panel in which a timer is set and it's set timing on the basis of the number of questions present in the database for example in my case, I am providing 10 seconds for each question. Means this panel first fetch the total number of questions and it multiply it with 10,000. Means each question get 10 seconds. And we can also change its timing according to our requirement. But in this case, I am using 10 seconds for each question. So let's click on yes. So we have three questions in our database in this exam. So it will provide us 30 seconds. So we have to complete this in 30 seconds. For example, I am choosing only one question and I am doing nothing. Means I have selected one question and I have do nothing. So after 30 seconds, it will automatically block all these buttons and submitted our test to the database. So here is the result that I am provided one right answer, zero wrong and two unattempted. And if and as we click on OK, then it will take to our previous venue. So click on that, then it will show a message that result save. Thank you for the test. And then when we click on OK, so it will take to our paper selecting panel. And if now I am choosing Python, so it will say that that you have already appeared for all the exams of Python and now you have no exams left. Then click on OK, then go back, then click on viewer scores. So student name is Hari and here he has to choose the exam ID for which he wants to see the result. For example, I am clicking on 2. So it will show that the language is C and percentage is 66%. And if we click on exam 5, then it will show that language is Python and percentage is 33%. Then click on back. And now if the user want to change the password, so then click on the change password and then click on do task. So here we can see that that current password of Hari is Hari. And now if I want to change this, so I am writing change and then again change and if we do some mistake in password and retype password and click on update password then it will show that given passwords are not same try again so we have to provide the same password in both the text boxes so here i am providing the same password and now if i am clicking on update password so here now a pop-up will come that say password updated successfully and we can also check it from our database so here we can see that that first our password is hurry and now it's changed to change. So that is all about our project that we have developed in Sarma Computer Academy. And you will get the whole source code and images of this application from my GitHub account. So finally, I want to conclude it and thank you Sachin sir and the whole team of SCA for providing us guidance and support. Have a nice day and thanks for watching.